Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Teclone.com and in this video we're going to have a look at this small pixel art gadget which can actually do a lot more than simply drawing pixel art or creating pixel art. It ranges from decorating your desktop, obviously drawing pixel art, all the way up to having as a music player and even create your music. So, let's have a look. I actually got one of these gadgets a while ago and it looks very nice. Like, it reminds me of those old 80s gaming machines, which I think they're called arcade games, arcade games machines, which you will find in uh, coffee shops, like the big ones. But its main purpose is definitely not for playing games, but creating some very cool animated pixel arts, which I really like, they look very attractive, and then push them on the online community, which also possesses one of those devices to create them. So without further ado, let's go ahead into the unboxing and then I'm going to show you every single feature that this device brings. By the time you order it via the link down in the description and arrive to your house, it's going to come with this gift looking like bag. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, it's called Divum D2 Retro Pixel Art. But for short reference, I'm just going to call it Retro Pixel Art. And within the bag, as you can see, there's another box which includes everything of course, including the retro pixel art itself. And as you can see, it actually looks like a very old, you know, Apple II computer, whatever you call it. But instead it has like six keys and a small joystick on the right. On the right side, you have a nano SD card on and off button and a USB-C uh, plug. You guessed it, it comes with a USB-C cable. Nothing on the bottom. On the top and the back, you have a speaker. Just careful, it gets very loud easily. And a lot more features which we're going to discuss in the next minute. Furthermore, you also get some stickers for pixel art fans, a user guide in case you get lost, although we're going to cover all the basics within this video. And lastly, you get the cable. Of course, through the USB-C port, you can charge the device. Preferably, you can charge it with your computer, but if you have a USB plug adapter, then any will work. And that's it. Let's move on and see how you can set it up. Both Android and iOS devices can connect to your, to the, your to the device. Simply navigate to your settings, enable Bluetooth, press on the yellow key to navigate to the main menu, press on the right key five times in order to go to the last setting, select it by using the joystick, you should see the Bluetooth logo. Select again, and then back on your phone, you should see a connection labeled as D2-Audio. Select it to pair your device. All right, so now let's have a look on what the retro device can do itself without the involvement of your phone. By pressing on the yellow button, you have access to the main menu, and the first option is games. Let's have a look on some of these games and see what they look like. And as you can see, Tetris is, you know, very similar to what you used to see in the old times. Instead, it's very pixelated. But you have further games, including Flappy Bird. And, you know, it's again, like, very similar to what you used to play in your, in your phone. Instead, it's very pixelated and a lot simpler. It's still difficult as you know it. As you can see, my highest score is 7. And... It's going to be very interesting to, to let me know how much you can score on, on your device. Like, my score is 7, so if you if you beat that, then just let me know down in the comments. The other option is very obvious, is paint. So as you can see, a random picture is going to show, and all you have to do is to move the cursor and then draw the image. And if you complete it, it's going to show another image. And the more you progress, the harder the images become. Moving along to the settings, you have several options there including stopwatches and also a decibel meter yes you guessed that your retro pixel art device comes with a microphone and furthermore you also have an alarm so if you use your phone already as an alarm it's good to have a second alarm because sometimes you may turn off your alarm on your phone and then you go back to the bed so it's good to have a second one so increasing the chances of waking up a few shortcuts which can definitely come handy pressing once on the power on and off button is going to show the battery life and just for reference, by holding down the on and off button, it's going to shut down the device completely. By holding down the yellow key on your keyboard, which is also referred as the menu key, it's going to toggle the light appearing below the keyboard. Keep in mind that the brightness cannot be adjusted. By holding down the joystick, you enable voiceover. Talking from the D-Zoom D2. And once you finish, you can release the joystick. And with a press on the yellow button, on the menu button, you'll be able to hear what you just said. Talking from the D-Zoom D2. With a press on the brightness button, it's going to change pixel art animations showing on your screen. And by holding it down, it's going to change the style of the animation showing on your screen. By holding down on the left arrow key, it's going to decrease the brightness. 
and by holding down the right arrow key is going to increase the brightness by holding down the plus key is going to increase the volume careful it's going to get very loud easily and by holding down the minus button it's going to decrease the volume furthermore devum also provides you with a free app available for both iphone and android in order to expand the capabilities of your retro pixel art device once you download it, launch the app, register, you know, classic things, and then go to settings in order to pair your device with the app. The app is very simple to use. As you can see in the middle, you can see all the pixel arts uploaded by the community. This is like all users just like you uploading stuff. And by selecting one pixel art animation, it will be displayed on your device. You can also adjust the style of the animation showing on your Devoom device by going to channel video effects and then you can choose which style you would like to be shown according to the icon you choose which is going to be displayed on your device of course you can also go to the community and then select your favorite animations you add it to the customs and then you can even upload them to your devom device by selecting upload to device did i mention that the devom device can also play music that's correct you can also play the radio and then listen from your room device be careful it can get really loud you can also even import your library and then play your music that you have from your phone i'm not going to play any songs due to copyrights but you get the idea cool so now i'm going to show you how you can design your own pixel art and also animation now it's very simple you need to go to the browser and here is where you have all the other features and from here we're going to select design and i'm going to show you how you can draw a pixel art and i'm sure you're going to recognize what i'm about to draw if you don't I'm extremely disappointed. So once you're finished with the design, name it, and then you have the option to upload it on the community, as well as save it to your device. The design is not the best, but you get the point. By going to animation, this is where you can create those cool pixel art animations that you saw in the community. It's very easy to create an animation. What you have to do is to, des is to design each frame, and it's kind of difficult because you have to remember what the exact frame was previously, so make sure to take some pictures in order to remember what was the previous frame and then you can, you know, draw it by having another device next to it. Um, and once you finish, then again, name it as you like and you can also upload it to the community. It's great to see what you can guys come up with. So make sure to drop a comment below of what you have created. Another very important feature I would like to mention is the DJ Mixer. This is the perfect time for you to take a glance of what DJ mixers look like. Well, obviously the professional mixers that you see are a lot more complicated than this, but this is a perfect simple example for you to create some very simple beats. And from it, as you can see, you have several options, including changing the drums, melody, bass, vocals, and you're pretty much free to use your creativity and create whatever you want. So once you find your perfect melody, your perfect, you know, beats, then you can always press on the rec button on the top left in order to record what you are playing and be able to listen to it later on. You also have a few other instruments to play with, but these are really fixed sounds, so I don't know how much you can create something from that. Another thing we'd like to talk about is that you also can use your phone as a controller. So you can play your games on your Devoom device and then use your phone as a controller as you can see right now, I'm playing Tetris and, and also you can play it for the first time, Flap Bird using a controller. There are definitely many more features which we don't have enough time to cover, including voiceover, small weather app, alarms, and also you can even chat to your friends by selecting on the chat button. You type in your friend's ID, email, and then you're ready to talk through your Devoom devices. And that's everything about the Devoom Retro Pixel Art device. Now, if you want to have a, your own copy, then have a look in the, in the link down in the description and let me know what you think about it. Like, what were you planning to do it if you purchase it? Don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends if you want to purchase one for yourself and for your friends so you can start doing the pixel art chatting. That's the video for today, guys. I hope you like it. I'll see you next time.